There we go. Good afternoon, everyone. It's me, Kevin Lee. Listen, it, it, I'm a motivational speaker, best-selling author, and motivational coach. And uh, you are here watching live with Kevin Lee. And today's a very special day because we have a dear friend of mine, but also a business coach of mine that I wanted to bring into the tribe, into the garden of life we have here. And and just share a little bit of her light. And just, it's not a little bit of light, it's a lot of light because this lady has some incredible things happening in the world. And, uh, and, and, and truly, I just wanted to share her with you because that's how much I admire the work that she does. And, and I wanna share about, about her past with you. I think you're gonna be quite impressed. This is Kathy Kidd today, and she is a marketing powerhouse international best-selling author with over 20 years experience specializing particularly in social media marketing and creating best sellers. Listen up because I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. Since 2015 and as a speaker and and author's muse, Kathy has been able to help over over 600 people become best sellers. She is a multipreneur, she's a mom. Kathy teaches her clients to share her story, to share their stories and build that know, like, and trust factor into their own businesses. And Kathy's created a truly incredible formula, a very productive formula by which that they help her clients achieve their, uh, their author and their business goals. And Kathy's been invited to speak on numerous stages, world stages, celebrity stages, especially with the likes of Lisa Nichols at the Speak and Write to Make Millions Summit. And that was where Lisa was teaching her secret formula. Her method, uh, Kathy's method of marketing and publishing are definitely super unique. I'm a product. Uh, we're going to talk about that as well. I'm a product of that program. And her teachings are not, not only unique, they're unprecedented. And she continues to make true on this promise to make best-selling authors out of every single client, every single client with a 100% sex success rate. Kathy and her team are taking the world by storm. Kathy Kidd, come on into the program today. Thank you for having me, Kevin. I'm so happy you, to be here. You are absolutely just welcome. Just good to see you. And thank you for making time to really come in and just visit with the tribe here and be a part of us. And, and uh, you know, I had mentioned earlier to our viewers, our listeners, that I'm a product of Kathy's work and Kathy's coaching and spirit, literally spirit led me to Kathy uh, through a, a really unique uh, way. And I realized that Kathy was the one that was gonna be the really the one to get me over the hump, which was myself. I was the obstacle in my way, thinking I'm gonna write a 300 page book in 15 to 20 chapters. And I didn't know what I didn't know, but let me tell you, Kathy knows what she knows uh, for sure. And it's because of that, we'll go ahead and while I'm thinking of it, I'll share with you Your Divine Purpose. And uh, this book was produced in your program, which uh, hopefully you'll speak about in just a little bit. And uh, very proud of this because it's because of the formulas, it's because of the systems and the processes, the way you explained everything, it opened a new, it just opened new perspectives in my mind that I didn't even understand before working in a traditional writing way. And I was able to literally just allow this information to flow to me, through me, and from me, from the universe, really. And uh, it created just such a beautiful product. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Kathy Kidd, uh, for supporting me and helping me step into my greatness and help me shine in a professional way, the right way, a successful way. Because of Kathy Kidd, I am a number one international best-selling author. And uh, let me tell you, was it a challenge? Yes. <laughs> but with Kathy's help, she made it a whole lot easier. And thank you, Kathy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like, your book is one of my favorite examples. And really, your story and your path is a story that I share with other authors all the time. Because first of all, you're a brilliant human being. Second oh. of all, you know, the universe uses you in a divine way. Yep. You're filled with all kinds of information to give the world. You needed a book. You knew it. Everybody else tells you you need, like, you need. They've been telling me for years. You need this tool. And it's perfectly fine that you didn't go to college to specifically become an author and know how to do that. It's okay that you didn't 
know those details. I have that formula. I, love it. I can't do what you do. I, I can only help you put your brilliance into a tool to then get to the world. I just happen to know how to do that formula to get your information into a book. And just you're the ideal student, just oh. filled with information, excited to get it out to the world. Anything that I asked you to do, you did. Mm -hmm. And it all came together perfectly. And it's just, I love your book so much. So you. <laughs> you know, and you said, which I was going to say, so it's interesting you chose these words. You said, Kevin, you're full of information. And I think that was part of my problem. I had, I knew what I wanted to write about, at least I thought I did. And there was so much information behind my life experiences, but it was overwhelming me and it was preventing me from seeing what path should I really take? How do you formulate a book in an easy way, in a, in a creative way? And that's what your formula and the system that you've created has, that's what it did for me is it literally laid out a map, a blueprint for the best way to do that based on what I was hoping to achieve, which was produce a book to get myself out there as a public speaker. And nobody had ever taught me that. And so I truly was holding myself back. But uh, since we brought up the formula, uh, I, want, I want you to share, if you would, uh, what you're going to be offering uh, to us on Monday and Tuesday this coming week on the 11th and the 12th of October. Yes. So I'll be doing my signature Write Your Best Seller in One Hour workshop on Monday. Um, this workshop is the fundamental keys of writing your best seller. It gives you the basic tools of what you need. And basically, by the end of that hour, you will have the outline to your book. I know that's a pretty big promise, but it's, been, it's been done over and over and over again. And yep. this is actually the first step to the nine-week bestseller formula that I teach at length. But this is the key part. This is the beginning. This is the fundamentals, the key, the frame. And from there, you know, do, do whatever you like. Get that book done. Get it out there. Love it. But it's the fundamental tools that you need. And then on Tuesday, the one that's everybody's favorite. So Monday is the get it done. And Tuesday, I'm sharing seven ways to make money with your book because ultimately it's a tool and, you know, Zig Ziglar and Lisa say both, you know, Zig originally said it, but Lisa says it's so great. Lisa Nichols is you can't share your light with the world if you can't keep your lights on. So ultimately, Powerful. as everyone would say, you serve from your overflow. So yes. how do you make money from your book using it as a tool that you can then use to bless and bless and bless and bless and bless, right? Yes. But most people don't know there's seven ways and actually live, this is what I don't give very often, but for those who are there live, I'll also be giving number eight. It's a bonus tip. Oh, another way you can make money with your book that's not typical. Um, so I'm excited for that. Everybody loves those seven ways to make money with your book, but you have to have the outline to your book. And the Monday workshop, it really is that whole, it kind of opens your mind to how easy and simple it really can be. It, it's people make it too complicated. Mm -hmm. The truth is, is that the old school publishing industry uh, hasn't changed their ways since the 1800s. And things are moving quickly today with technology. So like, we have options. We no longer do a keynote hour, hour and a half speech of everything you need to give. We now do an 18 minute or less TED talk. Yes. So understanding those fundamental changes that we're making in communication today is a part of what I teach on Monday as the basic structure and frame to getting your book done. I love that. I love, I'm super excited, everyone. And so all these the links to register for these two free workshops uh, that will be hosted on Monday and Tuesday this coming week, October 11th and 12th, and the times will be around 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time, so that the, these should be great times for you all to jump in, but again, the descriptions, the links, and things will be here in the, in the description of this video after we have, uh, after we've completed this segment, and Kathy, I wanted to ask you, Really, what, what makes a bestseller book? Mm, that's such a good question. Um, so 
there's really two kinds of bestsellers when people think of bestseller. Most mm -hmm. people think of New York Times bestseller. And there's a long version of, of how that becomes a bestseller, but let me summarize by just saying, in the end, whether it's New York Times or LA Times or the Tribune or whatever, they see a list of books available for that week. Mm -hmm. And somebody, a human being, uses their opinion to choose. Uh -huh. That's, that's the tricky spot. So you can sell 60,000 books in a week and be really absolutely wonderful, put out great content um, and still not be chosen. Mm. Now, an Amazon bestseller is all numbers, no opinion. It's a computer. So it. if you understand Amazon's search algorithm, mm -hmm. you can make sure that your book is in a, in a place and in a way that people are actually gonna find and see it. Yes. There are so many books that are just randomly placed on Amazon that people will never see because the they're not connected to the computer in the right way. Mm -hmm. But I know Amazon search, search yes, algorithm <laughs> and I can show you exactly how to appear at the top of those search results rather than 20 pages in. Well, and that's we the it. key. We that's, did it. We did yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Know. And you got to have that content. Like, yeah don't come to me with with junk which is never the case i've never had that happen really like so many people have really good quality content to share certainly you did like you were just full of it full, we had 15 full books in one and you're Easily. like oh, kevin we, let's just start with one book not 15. Yes. I'm like, well I, you know i didn't know what i didn't know i mean yeah. i just i just was living life and and uh, found you and i was like all right this lady's gonna do it and, and you did you so, can you could and should have a series. Like this is just your first number one international bestseller. There will be more, there, there will be more. Like you're I'm, just full of content. <laughs> Kathy, I'm curious, what, is, what makes the best book as far as topics? Like how do, you, how do you choose a topic for your book? So it depends on the person. It's not just, cause look, we now, our marketplace is the world. Right. It's no longer the town we're stuck in or even the oh, state sure. we're stuck in yeah. or even the country we're stuck in. So somewhere, someone needs what you have. But when I talk to my authors, I, I talk to them about like, what is it that's important for you to share? And what is it that's easily accessible to people? Mm -hmm. So it's really, it depends on the person and the industry, but that's really, that's key and part of what we do and why I need to speak with them individually or in a, um, a clarity hot seats right. when we do our nine week bestseller formula to really get to who is your ideal client? What are you gonna do with your book beyond just writing it? And then let's talk about narrowing down the exact topic because most people like you have 14 books they could write today. <laughs> Which one do you start with, right? Yeah, and, you know, I think that's really important because, you know, you're coming from this from a from a business perspective, because you said we're going to get you in that nine week course. Uh, we're going to get you to identify your client, your demographics. Who do you really want to target? Who are you targeting in your business already? How can we focus your book in the terminology and and the writing style or the or the themes in your book that would benefit your audience that, that you already have or those you're seeking? Uh, I think that's powerful. Yeah, well, my my background really is in business development, internet business development. I started in 1997. I started building websites and doing marketing. And, you know, people would come to me and say, I want to do business online, not really know what to do or how to do it. And I ended up being business development. Like we did everything from web design to the sales funnel days. to sales fulfillment, like the whole gamut and then marketing and sales. So I love that part of it. And so my brain is already there. I have the experience in the industry and I have all of my clients who are out in various industries. So I have like a little experience in everything that is in the back of my brain as we're preparing for your book. See, it. this is the really key part is that often people will just write a book to tell story yep. without thinking, what am I going to do with it? Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple but, on a shelf over there. <laughs> yeah. But if you understand on the other side, what I yep. really want is for this book to represent 
what do I want to be known for for the next yeah. six months to a year? Exactly. Exactly. What conversation do I want this book to be the beginning of? It's not yes. all the information. Yes. It's just the beginning of the conversation. Juicy, juicy. So then where do I want to take them next? Do I have an online program? Do I want to speak on stages? Uh, do I want to create a course from this book? Uh, do I want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching? Do I want to enhance something I'm already doing or selling? Do I want to promote my uh, brick and mortar business? I can't tell you how many people I've seen do various things on the other side. Do I want to change legislator, legislature? Do I want to um, create a nonprofit? But if you're thinking about who you want to reach on the other side, you can design that book to be the beginning of that conversation. And that's what really makes the key topic. And uh, knowing who you're writing to and for and what you want the result to be. And when wow. you know that, it's super simple to bring it all out in the book because it, it's not like you're writing a fiction book and having to make up the characters or the setting. It's already in your head. These are the stories you've already been telling. It's the lessons you've already been teaching. But now we know exactly what part of it to put in the book. And it's just to get it down. Yeah. That's powerful. How long does it take to typically write and publish a book? We can do it in as little as 30 days with our formula. It's okay. just, if you come to me with clarity on who your ideal client is, what you want the results to be, mm -hmm. all I have to do is get the information out of your head into a book and publish it. So okay. we already have the system, the formula, the people in place. So I can do that in as little as 30 days. That's incredible. Our record time was 21 days. <laughs> <laughs> we were under the gun. <laughs> That's incredible. But, uh, but usually when we teach you the formula, so that's the, the process that you went through is where I teach you actually how to use my formula that I created. Right. And so that's nine weeks plus a few extra for the launch and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can teach it to you as well. But it's but we could do it as little as 30. Well, let, tell me this, because when I came to you with my first original manuscript of what I thought was going to be the Kevin Lee book, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was somewhat something like 15 chapters, that was, uh, it was going to be a massive book. I just didn't know what else to create. So from your perspective, and for a lot of our listeners and viewers who are maybe new to this process, how long do you think uh, a book should be or how many pages, something like that? So ideally, what I shoot for is 100 pages or less. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that short reads are hot. They're so hot that Amazon created a whole category just for short reads books that are 100 pages or less. The truth is we've always enjoyed short reads, but the publishing companies way back in the 1800s discovered that it is more profitable, there's a higher profit margin, in having a 300 page book to sell than having just a 100 page book to sell. So they would put them together, like grouping short stories like A Christmas Carol oh, or Steinbeck's awesome. The Pearl into a thicker book uh -huh. and encourage authors to bring them writing that was at least 300, 350 pages. That's where that but, came from. But today, because of technology, we can actually get what we want. Right. So we can have those short stories. We can have in 18 minutes or less, one great idea TED Talk. We can have in one short read all the content to actually move forward and take action. Now, some of the books are longer than that. That's fine. The book should be as long as is necessary for you to get across all the information that you want to share. However, ideally, if you can do that in 100 pages or less, mm -hmm. then you fall into that sweet spot of short reads. Wow. Which Many famous authors are in those categories today because they understand. Brene Brown, um, Seth Godin, uh, like so many fall into the short read category. In fact, Brene Brown was recently doing um, a, new, uh, a new round of her program for, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh, it's just totally That's escaping okay. my mind. But like Brene Brown, the Brene Brown. Yes. And her book is only like 120 pages with wide margins and, and things like that. And she's doing her podcast series over the summer that she did and everything else from this little short read. 
I love it's it. Phenomenal because the content, it's the content that's amazing. That's, that's incredible. Now, once we've produced a book, what kind of money can we make with our books? Well, uh, for example, Susie Carter, she's on track to make $8 million this year from her book. <laughs> but only 1% of an that is projected from book sales. Incredible. But all of her programs and everything she teaches and everything she's doing all come from the book. And that's part of what I teach as well is how do you leverage it as a tool? And, and that's something I've, we've never really been taught in public. And I've never heard that. Uh, I just thought you got to get a book and, and, and you got to have that table full of books and you got to do a book signing and that's how you make money and go, keep going center to center to center. That's all I knew. Uh, well, but, and, and if you look back at the 70s and 80s, that kind of made sense. There weren't as many authors, for one thing. Yes. There was very little competition. And um, you didn't have access to the authors. Mm -hmm. I remember when I saw Lisa for the first time, uh, 2007 on the Oprah show, I thought it was great. You know, the secret and the, right. oh, yeah. um, the law of attraction. And I remember seeing Lisa and I really liked her, but it never occurred to me that I could actually have access to her. Wow. I could have at the time. I didn't know that it, it, it wasn't a part of my thinking because right. I was raised in the generation where authors do a book signing and, and that's the closest you ever get. Wow. I didn't discover until 2014 wow. when she became my coach <laughs> that I could actually have access to her. I could sit with her, uh -huh. get information and everything else. And that's the difference today is that we have access to those people. The book is the beginning wow. of the conversation. It's not the end all be all, everything we can put into it. It's just the beginning of the conversation. So now we as authors have access to our, our ideal client and the people that we can really serve and help. And those people have access to us where they can say, okay, but what does that mean for me? How do I actually apply that to my life? Like these are great concepts, but you can see something for me that I can't see and get that advice and move through it quicker, sooner, faster. Isn't that true? It's yeah. an investment. It's an investment of energy, meaning money, into the process of allowing someone who's already walked that journey, walked that path, received the understanding and wisdom. And it's it just, it's a releasing of energy that synergizes it right back to you quickly and it moves you on your path uh, so much quicker. Just like you said, I love that. Well, and Oprah said um, she has a coach for every area of her life she wants to improve. And at it. that time, which was 2008, 2009, she had like four coaches uh -huh. and every coach that I know has a coach mm -hmm. because we understand it works. Like when I come to a part in my life where I have something I want to overcome mm -hmm. or something I want to learn or something I want to improve or something that I'm seeking to get, I'm going to find a coach for that because I want to get there sooner, quicker, faster. Absolutely. I, well, even in the last 15 years, probably in the last five years, uh, the universe brought me, I kept saying, I need a coach, I need a mentor so bad, to just to be the best I can be as a speaker, a minister, a, a leader of a spiritual community. And what happened, I ended up receiving my first coach. And it was the best thing I could have ever received. Because this person came with 40, 50 years of global ministry and uh, big audience uh, perspective and saw things in me, I could never see in myself. And it was it made the process a lot easier, and but it also, it infused me with a new perspective. So coaches are powerful. And, uh, you know, you came along June of last year. And, and I, so I jumped in and, and hired my first uh, book coach, a writing coach. And then Susie Carter came along and I hired a business development coach. And I've completed that program a year later. And I will tell you, you're the first person to hear. I'll be stepping into the Lisa Nichols tribe because I want to be even better as a public speaker yeah. and just to really fine tune and clarify and, and just begin to gain some wisdom and new perspective. I maybe I currently don't know. I don't know. And so she'll be my public speaking coach. So I'm super excited. And you're right. I mean, I have seen more growth in myself because I stopped trying to do it all myself and I invested in the dream or the purpose that I had with a, a professional, a coach, just like yourself. And it literally has, I'll say synergized again, because my life has rapidly changed because of that. And I wish I would have done it sooner. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you're a you're, you are a brilliant human being. Oh. Anybody, anybody who knows you knows that, and you would have figured it out on your own. However, <laughs> the time and the money that would have yes. been burnt and invested, like you had already spent two years working on your book before I met you, and several and, thousand. Yeah. yeah, and and not that it was a waste. It wasn't because right. you still kept moving forward, and we right. used what you learned and what you had. Right. However, it might have been shortcutted if you and I met sooner. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and, and same thing with, you know, Susie and Lisa, like, man, I can't tell you how my life would have changed if I knew in 2007, I had access to Lisa then, wow. as opposed to figuring it out in 2014, my children's lives would have been changed. My life would have been Powerful. changed. Like my community would have been changed. I would have had been exposed to more authors and help more authors help more people. Like, if, like just if I had known and understood in 2007, I had access to Lisa. Interesting, isn't it? What's mm -hmm. the best What's the best piece of advice you can give to authors? Do it. Do Just it. Do it. Do it. Exactly. That's a great. I mean, really, truly, eighty one percent of people surveyed say they want to write a book. Less than five percent do. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm the Best Sellers Guild which is my my private group. It's yes. just supportive authors. We have over 3,400 authors in there. And the thing is, is you're not alone. You are not alone. Be with supportive people who will cheer you on. Either they're going through the same thing or they've been there, done that. Cheer each other on and get it done. It's not for the faint of heart. I'm not going to, you know, like fill you with sunshine and tell you something that's not true. It it can be challenging. I mean, for gosh sakes, you're putting a piece of yourself in the world, it's but true. you do it in order to help others. Focus on who you're helping, focus on the goals, focus on the fact that on the other side, there's going to be financial reward. There's going to be the spiritual reward, not to mention how you bless people and that blesses you. And then you bless more people and that blesses wow. you. Like, That's so true. That's just great. Just forward. do it. Just get yeah. started. That's really true because we do hold ourselves back. And and yes, it was a challenge for me. But but I what I I, I said it earlier in the podcast, which was I found it to be an easy process because you gave me a formula, you gave me a blueprint, and uh, then you gave us a lot of advice and coaching and mentoring and Q and A sessions and dialoguing and in group format and. So we could bounce questions and scenarios, and it just made the process so much easier. I didn't feel alone. And I think that's most important. I never felt alone. And when I was writing my book alone, I felt very alone. And it was a mountain I didn't think I could climb. Mm -hmm. And with your process, it made it a heck of a lot easier. And yes, it's work. And yes, you've got to be detail-oriented and, 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 and manage your time, time managing. Uh, quite efficiently, but uh, you can do it. People can do this. Absolutely. I'm well excited. said, very well said. And it's true. Like, I can't imagine if I had to just do it alone. I, yeah. I've, you know, I've authored four books and the first one almost didn't get completed <laughs> for that very reason. At least at the time I had my husband cheering me on, but if I had nobody and I was really just alone, alone, I don't know that I ever would have completed it. So I love that. That's powerful. It. Oh, That's our number one thing this is, in this community. This has been a tremendous uh, time with you. I, our listeners and our viewers, I, I, I don't even have to question. I know that you've received something from this inspirational. And I, I know that many of you have books to be written. I think this is a powerful opportunity. And probably it's providential timing for you that we showed up in your life right when you were thinking about it this week, this month, this year. This is your pivot. And 2021 is definitely a year of the pivot. And I want to encourage you and empower you. Uh, I'm here. You can always reach out to me. You can ask my opinion. You can uh, ask uh, whatever you wish, and, and we'll put you in touch with Kathy. But I definitely want to invite you all to be a part of our Monday and Tuesday evening uh, events uh, with Kathy Kidd and myself. That'll be a virtual format. These workshops are Write Your Best Seller in One Hour and also uh, seven ways to make money, if I have it correct, <laughs> seven ways to make money with your book. That's right. Uh, so again, I will drop the links to these in our description field, along with 
Kathy Kidd's uh, Facebook group and her website so that you all can get in touch with her directly. Ladies and gentlemen, it's truly been a pleasure to have you listening and learning here on the Live with Kevin Lee podcast. We speak to leaders and luminaries. We bring forward beautiful, life-changing lessons, and I truly hope this has inspired you to make changes in your own life. So until next time, I'm your purpose. I'm your coach in purpose and possibilities. I'm Kevin Lee, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.